The energy industry is expected to go through some dynamics over the next couple of years, which will force them to be more innovative than they've ever been before. Radiation exposure is a, a real challenge in the industry, and there are mandates as to how much radiation a worker in an environment can take on. That led us to our collaboration with the FIATEC Consortia and the Electric Power Research Institute. They wanted to look at commercial off-the-shelf software that could be used to assist with the planning process for ALARA. ALARA stands for as low as reasonably achievable, which is the method for the industry to lower the exposure of workers in the plant, which in turn produces better health and safety. They have to know what kind of radiation exposure technicians will have to do maintenance tasks or any kind of tasks within their facilities. And they'd like to be able to plan that before they send a worker in to actually perform those tasks. Currently we can define tasks for the human to do in a very automated, predictable way, but these are based on kind of empirical observations of how people do things. And often our users need to explore things that have never been done. EPRI was looking for a tool that would allow alarm planning in the 3D environment because the exposure can be better calculated when the 3D dimension is taken into account. So the benefit in having a 3D virtual environment is now you can do your planning on the computer rather than going down to the actual site. That was a very nice fit to be able to use the Connect system as a very natural way to kind of define what the task sequence was that a person actually needed to uh, go through in order to do the maintenance tasks within a facility. And so they really would like to kind of do very quick what if explorations of it. You know, what if I looked at it from the left side or the right side or what if I bent down a little bit, could I reach it more easily? It's very quick uh, and very natural to be able to, to manipulate the human figure in the scene by your own actions. So there are a couple of pieces that came together. First of all, there was the human simulation components, which is part of our commercial offering. On top of that, we integrated in a radiation analysis tool, which was actually a third-party uh, algorithm that can analyze the scene if you have a source of radiation and you have shielding. So bringing those systems together was kind of the crux of this development. But we also wanted to kind of provide a little bit more for the user and we introduced a thing that we call cartography, which actually is a visual display of the radiation. We can kind of color different areas of the uh, environment according to the dose rate at that location. We're bringing in um, the PLM products from Siemens, um, in this case Technomatics, as well as Team Center for our back end. And then the Microsoft technologies, we have Connect, creating a new generation of planning, industrial gaming, if you would, bringing that into the environment, as well as some of the mobility solutions with Microsoft technologies. Technomatics brings three key ingredients to our planning. The first one is collaboration and communication. For example, uh, putting together the virtual environment with the Kinect allows the mechanic to show the um, radiation protection technician as well as the alarm planner exactly how the work is done and where they stand, which is important understanding where the doses will be. Second, to truly get to a as low as reasonably achievable plan, you really want to consider several scenarios. One is we provide visualization for easy decision making. For example, we provide the radiation heat map. The other one, we enabled you to make uh, quick what-if scenarios. And finally, we provide our alarm planning solution on top of our information management system, Team Center, which runs on Microsoft SQL database. This allows the information to be managed throughout the years and be aligned with the plant configuration as it changes. And maybe even more important, when the information is retrieved, the alarm planners are confident that it's indeed the right information that they were looking for. When the alarm planner completes a good plan, the mechanic in the field can view it 
on a Windows tablet and make sure that they can follow the planner's intent in order to indeed get the lowest exposure possible. With the Siemens technologies and the Microsoft technologies enabling planning and mobility and industrial gaming, we really think that's going to transform the way this industry is doing their planning today.